Hey everybody, it's Andrew the Moo, and you're wondering, how do we get around this big wall of fire? We walk around it. That's, uh... Don't work harder, work smarter. <laughs> Let this be a lesson to all of you kids. Alright? There's a big wall of flames. Let's move around if you can. Why in the world did the lizard woman, the, the, the crazy lizard woman, have, like, the big walls of flame and things of that nature? That makes no sense to me right now. Why there are all these jet propellers firing fire all over the place? I'm afraid to drop down here at the moment. But I think that's a legitimate question. Why are all of these things here? Can someone answer that for me? Yes? No? Maybe? Somebody? Anybody? Now... An important thing I want to make note of real quick like do to do do I made a mistake I made a mistake do 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 I mean I made a mistake all right let's let's try this again because there's something that uh, I want to do here in just a moment and I realized that I made a small mistake, but it should be right over here. Okay, maybe it's over here what I'm thinking about. Hmm, I'm not seeing it. And that makes me slightly nervous. Well. Alright, well, I guess I'll have to come back to that later because that, that expl... There's supposed to be an area over there where I can go. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah! If you mess up, we now have explosive canisters of gas here. And these things don't like touching the ground. I can do this right here. And it opens up another area where I can get an extra life. So you can walk down here, grab these. And I think if I continue heading downward, it takes me to the extra life, and there's explosive gas right there. It's like, wait a minute. I remember what's down there. Uh, it's one of those things where I remember well enough of the game uh, because of uh, my playing it, uh, already going through it. I'm like, I, I pretty much got this down, but there's still certain things that I, I need a little bit of remembering. No smoking moron. That's what we need, is more signs that say things like, no smoking, moron. Well, I think they realized that they had set it up where you could not walk around it, or you could walk around it, so they rendered it impossible for you to just walk around the flames this time. But they give you enough time where you can make it through, no problems. Alright, let this go, and that's going to kind of scare you a little bit, but eh, it's easy enough to get around. Just don't set it down, because if it touches the ground, it blows up. Don't put it down for any reason. You can't jump. You can only make weird farty sounds. I would wait here just for a moment, get a good handle on where the fire's coming from, and then run. Run like the wind. Once again, you can't just walk around it. But you'll, you'll be fine. Uh, something tells me you'll, you'll do just fine. So once again, wait, see where the fire's at, and just start moving. Uh, you shouldn't have any problems getting through there. This is the one, I think, if anything, that made me the most nervous. But uh, you shouldn't have any difficulties there. Pressurized gas isn't fireproof. Who knew? I'll be back in a minute. Alright, I want to explain what happened in my defense. Um, in my defense, I'm an idiot. That That's the best defense I've got right now, is I, I, I done goofed. What happened was, I was looking back at the zombie dust, and I'm like, I should go back and get that. And I stopped thinking, well, I'll be fine where I'm standing right now. Come to find out, I was not fine. 
I don't think if I if I if I use that, I don't think it's gonna drop me into the plane right away. I am gonna go ahead and grab that because we're at 93. Let's go ahead and fuel this sucker. Actually, it is going to go ahead and do that for me. Well, so you steer with the left. You can actually roll, do a barrel roll with the right thumbstick. Memes, memes are plenty. And so you're just steering around. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you, i not a huge fan of the steering of the planes uh, in this game. Not a huge fan at all. It's uh, toothbrushes. It's very hectic, uh, erratic. Uh, no, I did not say uh, what you think I said. I said erratic. Uh, yeah, yeah, extra life. Stick here to the bottom. Just avoid those things. And quickly go through here. Because those do not open for you. They open and shut randomly. So I'm just going to ease my way through here. And then the right stick. And there's an extra life in that box there, but I ain't messing with it right now. Uh, alright. Up, 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 okay. So, uh, the nice thing is, this is one of two instances um, where you have to do the plane. Although, I will say that this is probably the lesser of the two evils. Because the other one, uh, if you get goof up, in that plane section, you got to redo a really aggravating part of the stage. So, you want to be real careful. Straighten up. Uh, I don't know if I'm heading in the right direction or not. Alright. Just going around, going around, and... Alright. I have no idea which ends up going through these areas. Uh... But I do see the end of the stage when I see it. And I'm just going to move to the left void. And we've got a cutscene coming up. Excellent. Now stand back. Okay, short stuff. Let's blow this no horse town. Hey, we're not getting enough lift. We've got to lose some dead weight. That's just super. What now? The obligatory boss battle? Guys? Oh, one eye. That's original. Okay, I get it. Two heads. Could this get any worse? Okay, bring it on, uh, two eyes. All right, so... Two heads aren't always better than one. Find a way onto the back of this beast. Diving from high above, you can amplify your power. So, it has laser beam eyes, which hurt. You want to bounce up like that, you're going to land up here and there is a switch right here press the switch and then you want to jump Wee -hee -hee! don't try to float just try to do your best that's really all you're doing use the trampoline on its back bounce yourself up and do what you need to do the eye lasers are going to be the uh, part that's the most aggravating uh, and they're going to be looking for you, and you can't really avoid the eye lasers, which I don't like. It's an aggravation. It's something I really wish I didn't have to put up with. But I guess out of all the bosses, uh, this is pro... No, no! Awesome. Awesome! Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Come on. Ah! Why? Why? Alright, try this again. Bounce up. And I'm gonna hold the O button so I can just float down like a feather. And then I'm gonna jump here and I'm gonna come crashing down like a rock. Press X. Headbutt! The spikes. So, like all good bosses in video games, I think I'm only gonna do this one more time and the big bad boss will be uh, defeated. So, I mean, uh, if you've noticed one thing, the bosses in this game, uh, for the most part, are not overly difficult. The only boss that will give you troubles is, uh, actually, I think the next one that's upcoming. Uh, the boss after this one. But, uh, yeah. I should just have one more go and uh, this guy will be dead. And done. Uh, Gotta be something here I can use to catch that stupid turtle lady. Hmm. And the turtle lady was never seen from again. By the way, did I? Yeah, I didn't do the wrecking ball. Well, wanted to show it off. Now we got drill. Whoa, I feel kind of lightheaded. Love the sense of humor in this game. By the way, we're not going to see the lizard lady ever again. Lizard lady, we're done with her. She just flies off and that's it. We don't see her again. about another little jam session. I'll let you into the Crip City. Why on earth would I want to go in there? Vince, Vince, you must go to the Crip City. Oh, is this where they're holding you, Madam C? The zombie dust has caused much trouble in Crip City. You must set it right. All depends on you, Vince. Get past the gate, beware of the cemetery imps, and evade the claws of those who dwell below. I'd better be earning overtime. All right, let's get this over with. No, little buddy. This time, you've got to play the vibes. The, but, oh, whatever. It's a musical gate puzzle. Fine, let's go. So yeah, all this is, is, uh, eh, it's Simon. That's all this is. This is a game of Simon. So, I mean, it's not too terribly difficult, and I just realized it's the exact same thing when I originally played it. But it doesn't mean I'm not going to mess it up. And thankfully that was done. Yeah, you're, you're not getting that back. You you deserve, you deserve it, because uh, trying to feed me to a giant Tyrannosaurus Rex, you deserve uh, all that jazz. If you want to, you can go back and recollect some of the old stuff. You ain't gotta. Um. Let's try to, let's see, it's 16 minutes into this. I realize in the next episode, or before the next episode, I'm going to redo that gate puzzle, which isn't the totally the worst thing in the world. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call, 
I'm gonna call this an episode. I may try to go back to uh, one of the stages and try to grab some of the old stuff real quick. And uh, that way, maybe once we start back the next episode, I have a little bit of extra health. We'll just see what happens. Because uh, there are a few things I want to grab here. Uh, so anyway, what we're going to do, because this stuff won't harm me, it doesn't really matter anyway, and I don't have to grab any more fuel, so ha ha ha. This is Andrew the Moo, and uh, this has been um, uh, Voodoo Events. Hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.